Ahia Yana, and welcome to your Rise and Shine Yoga practice. Today's practice is a pranayama practice. This is a yogic breathing practice, or now popularized as a breathwork practice, that is great for energizing the body and also for restoring the nervous system and for creating calm and leading into meditative states. So wherever you are, Find yourself in a comfortable seated position. You could do this on a chair if that's more comfortable for you. Or if you like, you could sit in lotus position. Or if you're more comfortable in sadasana, or in sukhasana, in easy pose. Um, if you need to, to relax your hips, you can place uh, a bolster, um, a meditative cushion, or even just roll up a towel and place it under the sit bones to raise up the hips a little bit which gives you uh, more relief and allows the spine to be straighter. So we really want to think about the hip bones releasing out of the pelvic girdle. And inhale the shoulders up, down and back. Place the palms up, facing towards the sky, elbows in towards the center of the belly. Chin parallel to the floor. Back of the head lifted up as if someone was pulling the crown up towards the top of the heavens and chin slightly bowed in towards the chest. And make sure when you look down with the eyes gently, you could close the eyes and notice that the ribs are tucked in. So if you had a tail, it would be a nice straight line from the back, bottom of your tail, um, all the way to the top of your head. Closing the eyes in here. Inhaling here in through the nose. And exhale, blowing out two birthday candles, as if you're blowing out a birthday candle two times. <sighs> Presencing yourself, feeling the sit bones on the ground, inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling powerfully out the mouth twice. <sighs> One more time, inhaling in through the nose. Filling up the lungs and exhaling out the mouth powerfully twice. Beautiful. When you're ready, gently opening up the eyes, placing the hands in front of the chest in Anjali Mudra. Bow the chin towards the chest, elongating the back of the neck. Inhale in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Head back to center, bowing to your beautiful heart and creating the attention, the attention and intention of attention for today's class. Placing the hands back down, palms facing up towards the sky. We'll begin today's first breathing exercise, which is known as Kavalavati or Shining Skull breath. So we'll begin. Uh, first, I will talk us through it in case you haven't done this before. You want to think about placing one hand on the, in the center of the belly and on your exhale, you'll forcefully breathe out the nose and feel the belly button moving back towards the spine. Then inhale into the nose and exhale forcefully drawing the belly button back towards the side the spine as you exhale out the nose. Inhale in through the nose and feel that compression as the belly button moves back towards the spine. So that's a slow version of Kapala Bhakti. What we'll think about doing is again, grounding into the sit bones, rotate the shoulders up, down and back until the shoulder blades could hold a pencil between them, elbows tucked in towards the side. The chin parallel to the floor here. And we will begin with 10 forceful breaths out the nose. You can place that hand on the belly again as a reminder. And we'll begin now. And that was 10. Another way to think about this 
is as you're forcefully exhaling out the nose, the belly button compresses, you're just focusing on the exhale. And one great thing to know about pranayama is preferably when you're doing these breath work practices, they're fantastic to do first thing in the morning, before your yoga practice, at the end of a yoga practice, or at the end of the day, before bed, um, they can help focus the mind as well as making sure that you don't eat a lot before the practices, because especially with this breath, we are forcefully drawing the belly button back towards the spine, which is essentially pumping the diaphragm and then puffing, pumping the digestive organs as well. So we'll try that again. Inhaling in through the nose and then exhaling forcefully out the nose 10 consecutive times. Release the hand down, closing the eyes, scan through the body and notice any differences and how you feel from when you first began and sat on your mat. Using awareness to presence the body. Notice the sit bones. Make sure that the hips are nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. To release that and let that go. We'll try it again. The Kavalavati or Shining Skull Vest. But this time, we'll try it. If that was difficult for you to do with the nose closed, you can try it with the tongue out as the tongue resting on the bottom of the bottom rib as if you were a dog panting. Again, this time we'll try it 20 rounds. Take it at your own pace and follow the sound of my breath for the 20 rounds. It's also great with pranayama or breathwork practices to get in the habit of mentally counting the exhales and using this as a focused mind meditation, a single pointed mind meditation of counting the breaths. So we will, again, tongue out the mouth, draw the belly button back towards the spine, exhaling out as if you're a dog panting. And with that compression of the air out of the body, you can close the eyes here and we will begin together counting one to 20. Begin. Closing the mouth, swallowing, allowing the saliva to coat the back of the throat. Eyes closed here. We're going to scan from the top of the head all the way down, relaxing the eye muscles, relaxing the jaw. Chin parallel to the floor, shoulder blades squeezed together, elbows in towards the center of the belly. Palms facing up towards the sky. Grounded, relaxed in the hips. And imagine your energy sinking or grounding all the way into the center of the earth here. Okay, eyes closed if they are not already. And gently gazing towards the third eye. We'll do this shining skull breath again one more time, but this time with the mouth closed. Now that you've had that experience of trying it with the doggy breath version, we're going to try it with the eyes closed and the deep exhalation, 20 deep exhalations, sharp exhalations out the nose only. The natural breath will recoil in on its own and we will begin starting now. Beautiful. Releasing the breath. 
eyes gazed up towards the third eye. A gentle smile towards your inner organs, towards your heart. Inhale in through the nose. Taking three rounds of Ujjayi or victorious breath, inhaling in through the nose as if, as if you're a snoring baby, exhaling out the nose, compressing the back of the throat. Inhale in through the nose. Full as deep as breath of the day, and then exhale out the nose. Belly button moving back towards the spine. And then one more time, inhale in through the nose. Filling up full, complete breath. Exhale completely and fully. Letting go out the nose. Beautiful. Gently opening up the eyes. We'll move on to the next pranayama practice, which is Bhastrika breath, also known as Bellow breath. So what we'll do is bring the arms up above the head, and then on the exhale, fist come in towards the side, exhaling sharply out the nose. So we'll inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. You can even think about using the strength of the arm, the strength of the arm to create this and create muscle in the biceps. You're flexing the biceps back down and almost using the side arm um, to the biceps, the inner arms and elbows to uh, almost strike the ribs. So we will begin this for 10 rounds. Let's begin together. And again, counting, making sure you're keeping count. Inhale, arms up, exhale out the nose. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Close the eyes, release the hands down. Returning to the natural Ujjayi victorious breath. Take three rounds of breath here. Rounding in, just noticing how you feel. Notice how easily the breath fills up back with the Ujjayi breath after the exertion of the Bastraka. Again, filling up, inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling fully, letting go up and home. Nice and tall, string pulling the head towards the heaven. And one more time, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling all the way out. The nose to release. Fantastic. This time, we'll move on to doing Vastra Cobra for 40 rounds. So using your counting and focus skills, the power of your attention to connect with your intention of I am focused. Inhaling the arms up above the head, we begin. And then exhaling, arms hit or slightly strike the sides of the ribs. Okay, begin. Then you can close the eyes. Beautiful. You've completed your 40 rounds. Release the shoulders down, squeezing the elbows back in, palms up, eyes still closed, gently chin tucks, gazing the eyes upward towards the center of the brow or the pineal, the center of the forehead. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale out the nose. 
powerfully five we dry breaths here inhale in powerfully exhale out the nose inhaling in powerfully powerfully exhaling out inhaling in compression in the back of the throat on the exhale and one more round here beautiful fantastic noticing how you feel you might even need to release the feet forward if the legs feel like they're falling asleep a little bit you can pound up and down the legs up and down the knees if you're sitting in your chair this might be a good time to just sit up or stand up and sit back down and then when you're ready coming back to your seated position we will practice uh, a variation of our last breath which is Nadi Shodana. This breath is, if there is one pranayama or breathwork practice that you can practice that is completely safe, no matter what you have going on with your health, this is the one. This is a complete practice within itself. It is fantastically powerful and has the ability to completely wash calm and restore the nervous system. It takes you out of that fight and flight mode and puts you back in to that calm place where we all seek to be, unless we are adrenaline junkies and want to just be hyped up all the time. But that can get in the way when you're trying to go to sleep. So right hand comes up into the air. You're making an L shape with the right hand. You will place uh, the... Uh, hand, the pointer in the middle finger onto the center of the brow. We'll begin by exhaling out the left side of the nostril. Right nostril crows. This is just a little tutorial. Inhaling in the left side of the nostril to the center of the head. Then close the left side of the nostril with the rig thicker. Exhale, out the right side of the nostril, completely. Inhale on the right side of the nostril, to the center of the brow, close both nostrils, and then exhale out the left side of the nostril. Always beginning and ending on the left side. That is one round of Nadi Shodana. So we will together practice five rounds. So beginning, eyes closed, pointer and middle finger in the center of the brow, closing the right nostril, exhaling powerfully out the left side of the left nostril. Nice and tall in the spine, inhaling in the left nostril, full breath. Deepest breath of the day, hold in the center, close the left nostril, exhale out the right side. Inhale into the center of the brow. One shot breath is complete. Close both nostrils. Open left nostril. Exhale out the left side. Only. Inhaling in the left side. Go round two. Closing both nostrils. Exhaling out the right side. Inhaling in the right side. Close both nostrils. Exhale out the left side. Round three. Practice three more of these on your own. You can keep count on your left hand if you need to. Inhaling in. Left side. Closing both nostrils. Exhale right. Inhale completely in right. Closing both. Exhale left. Two more to go. Inhale in the left side. Close both. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close both. 
exhale up. Inhaling left. Close both. Exhale right. Inhale right. The center valve, close both. Exhale left. This last round of breath, take the deepest, longest breath of the day, inhaling in the left side. Retain the breath for as long as you can at the center with both nostrils closed. When you're ready, exhale at the right. Completely exhale, inhale in right. Filling up like a balloon, inflating, closing both, holding, holding, holding. And on the exhale, left nostril open. Eyes closed, releasing the right hand down. Noticing how you feel. Notice if the tailbone has tilted forward, a curve in the back. Can you tuck the tail between the legs? Release any tension in the hips. Scan through the body from the hips, the legs, releasing the belly, the chest, relaxing the shoulders, the jaw, relaxing the center of the brows, the eyes in the socket, the total body relaxed. And then this time, with the eyes still closed, we, you can take the hands into chin mudra or placing the thumb and the pointer finger together, all the other fingers extended. Again, drawing those elbows in towards the side. This is a great mudra or hand gesture for concentration. And focus. Inhaling into the nose, I am focused. Take three, ujjayi deep. Inhale the exhalations out through the nose. Releasing anything standing in the way. Inhaling into the nose, I am focused. Exhaling out the nose, release. Get the belly button drawing back towards the spine. And one more time, inhaling into the nose. Complete center, calm, focused. And then exhaling out the nose. Beautiful to release. This time, still with the eyes closed, we'll move into Analoma Veloma, which is the same breath we were practicing before, but with no hands. So this time, we will do it three times. So with no hands, imagining the air coming in the left nostril, following the air into the left nostril, to center of brow, exhaling air out the right nostril. No hands, but ma. Inhaling in the right nostril. Air to center of brow, exhaling out the left nostril. Inhale, tracing that breath in, golden light coming into the center of the brow. Filling up the center of the head with golden prana, life force energy, exhale out the right nostril. Inhale in right side, center of bow, exhale, after you've held, exhale out the left side. Take this last round on your own, inhaling in left. Center. All right. Inhale, center, and completing on the left side. Gentle and inward smile to your organs, to your heart. Chin again, parallel to the floor, squeezing the side body with the elbows, placing the hands in front of the heart, noticing how you feel. 
from when you began pressing the pans together, knowing that you've done something fantastic for yourself as you focus on these breathwork practices to bring, promote inner calm, restore and reset the nervous system. Drawing the chin down to the chest in a gesture of bowing to the wisdom of your heart. Knowing, especially with the Analoma Veloma practice, the last practice, breathing in the left nostril, exhaling out right, breathing in the right nostril, exhaling out left without the hand. That is a practice you can do anywhere at any time when you need to focus or to calm yourself. I challenge you to even just begin trying anytime you're feeling stressed or anytime you need a bit of calm or peace or even feel wound up before you're going to bed. Even just set a little alarm on your phone and practice and any of those breath practices, but particularly the last two for even three to five minutes. Deep sigh, inhaling out the mouth. Releasing all the moments that have come before. And on the inhale, centering to the wisdom of the heart again. I bow in gratitude to you for showing up for these powerful healing practices. Namaste and ashe.